Hello and welcome to my channel Tech Travel. If you are a travel agent, then we are your friend helping you with the better technical solutions. In the last video, we discussed about the features a tour and travel agent's accounting software should have. I hope you all have watched the video. If not, then I request you to please watch it. The link will be given in the description below. In today's video, we will cover all the aspects related to domestic and international air ticketing and how to create an invoice or do billing in the software related to domestic and international billing. There are two types of air travel domestic air travel and international air travel. A travel done within the boundaries of the country is known as domestic air travel. A travel done outside the country is known as international air travel. A domestic air travel requires only your identification proof for the journey whereas international air travel requires valid passport, valid visa and your health certificate for the journey. So, to record both the type of travel and to generate the bill, we'll now discuss what features a software should have. A. Client and Supplier Information A travel agent provides services to the client in the form of air ticketing and in return charges fee for it. A client can be a walk-in customer or individual or it can be an unregistered or registered firm. Therefore, there should be an option to record the data of the client in the software. A software should have the following parameters to record the data of the client. Name of the client or its firm, address, email ID, phone number, state, GSC number if registered, opening balance, etc. State of the client decides the place of supply if it is a registered firm. A travel agent purchases tickets from the supplier. A supplier may be a B2B portal like Akbar, Ria, TBO, etc. A supplier may be a global distribution system, MNS, Galileo, etc. A supplier may be an ITA agent or a supplier may be directly an airline. So a software should have a feature to record the data of the supplier. A software should have following parameters to record the data of the supplier. Name of the supplier, address, phone number, email ID, state, GST number if registered, opening balance, etc. Like here, I'm entering the data of my client, Mr. Ram and my supplier who is Akbar Private Limited. I have entered the data in all the mandatory fields and clicked on the save button. A software should allow you to capture the data of clients and suppliers and then it should allow you to create the type of billing you want depending on the type of track. Following are the parameters a software should have to record the billing, whether it is domestic air ticketing or an international air ticketing. Passenger details Name of the passenger A passenger and party could be same in some cases. Airline, ticket number, PNR number, flight number are the details related to flight which should be mentioned on an invoice so a software should provide you an option to record all these details. Date of journey Place of journey or route are the details related to the journey which should be mentioned on an invoice so a software should provide you an option to record all these details. There should be an option to record the fare information like basic amount and taxes of airlines like YQ, YR and K3 GST. The software should allow you to record the purchase detail of a ticket on the same window where the fare details have been recorded so that one-to-one -one mapping of each ticket can be done. A software should also have a provision to record multiple passengers on a single ticket on the same window. C. GST An air travel agent earns two types of income. 
commission from the supplier for selling the services on their behalf and processing free from the client for serving them for an air ticket. So the air travel agent will raise two invoices on the supplier for the commission for selling air ticket on the client for processing fee or service charge for providing them the service. GSC registration is mandatory for all travel agents. There is a misunderstanding amongst the travel agents that an agent who doesn't have a turnover more than 20 lakhs doesn't need to have a GSC number. The GSC Act states that any person who makes taxable supply of goods and services or both on the behalf of other taxable persons, whether as an agent or otherwise, must be registered under the GSC. GSC calculation is based on two things place of supply and venue of supply. As per Act 323 of CGST rule, venue of supply can be calculated as follows. There are two bases to calculate GST. First on the incentive or commission from the airline. Second on fee or service charge received from the client. On incentive or commission received from the supplier in, in domestic airline ticketing, we have to charge GST on 5% of basic amount and the rate will be 18%. And in international air ticketing, the GST will be calculated on 10% of basic amount and the rate of GST will be 18%. And on the service charge or fee received from an agent, in both the air ticketing, the rate will be 18% and GST will be charged on 18% of fee or service charge received. There are three types of GST. For interstate sales, there is IGST which has to be charged. And for intrastate sale, there is CGST and SGST which has to be charged. Which GST has to be imposed depends upon the place of supply. Place of supply is determined on the following measures. If the supplier and the client both belongs to the country India and the client is registered under the GST Act, then the place of supply will be the address of the client. But if the client is not registered and the address of the client is under the record, then the place of supply will be client's address only. Now I am creating a domestic invoice for Mr. Ram. I will be adding two passengers. I have entered the data in all the mandatory fields. In this software, you can enter the fair details and purchase details simultaneously on the same window. For adding in another passenger, I have clicked on add button and now clicked on the save button. These are the two reports of GST and all the GST related data of the purchase and sale is being reflected in the GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B report. The print of invoice and bill. A software should allow you to take the print of an invoice or bill created through the software. The invoice should cover all the information according to the GST. Following are the mandatory fields a GST invoice should have. Invoice number and date, customer's name, billing address, customer and taxpayer's GST number if it is registered, place of supply, service accounting code, taxable value and discounts, rate and amount of tax that is CGSC, SGSC, IGSC, signature of the supplier. If the recipient is not registered and the value is more than 50,000, then the invoice should have name and address of the recipient, address of delivery, state code and state name. Now, I will be showing you the print of an invoice. I have clicked on the print option. This is the invoice which we have generated for Mr. Ram. This has all the mandatory details. E. Cancellation In travel sector, there are scenarios 
where a journey gets cancelled after a ticket has been issued. So in that case, a travel agent has to cancel the billing done in the software. A software should have a different section for the cancellation of the billing at the time of cancellation. Uh, at the time of cancellation, an agent should not again and again enter the data in the software. A software should automatically pick up the fare and purchase detail depending upon the party and an agent just have to enter the cancellation chart. Now I am creating a cancellation invoice for Mr. Ram. I have cancelled the ticket of the second passenger. See, I have not entered any data. All the data have automatically been updated. I've just entered the cancellation charges amount. And then clicked on the save button. Sales and sales return. After the creation of domestic and international billing and the cancellation, if any, a software should have a provision. A data related to the sales should automatically reflect in the sales register and the data related to the sales return should automatically get reflected in the sales return register. The sales detail of Mr. Ram and sales return details have been automatically being reflected in the sales register and sales return register and purchase detail of Akbar Private Limited and purchase return details are automatically being reflected in purchase and purchase return register. G. Multi-currency. A software should have a provision of multi-currency in billing and respective return. Through multi-currency option, the final amount of an invoice can be changed into the currency we want. A travel agent just needs to enter the rate of conversion. For example, if the final amount of domestic invoice is INR 4000 and I want the amount in US dollar, then I just have to enter the rate of conversion and the amount will automatically get converted into US dollar. H. Multi-country office. There should be a scope of change in the forms of billing depending upon the country of a travel agent. Having a system which supports multiple languages is easier for those travel agents who have their office in multiple countries. They can serve their clients from different countries. Currency, tax, rates and language should get changed accordingly. I pending purchase or supplier's detail. A travel agent does not enter the amount of purchase detail but just enter the fare details and click on the save button. Then those purchases should get reflected in a section called pending purchases and agents should be able to edit and update those purchases later on. I am creating an another invoice for Mr. Ram where I am not entering the purchase detail and I have just clicked on the save. Now we are going into an another set which is called pending purchases. Here when we will write Mr. Ram then, then all the pending purchases of that party will reflect and we can further edit it. See I am entering the data of purchase and now I have clicked on the save button. J. Integration As we discussed in the previous video, a software should have a provision for integration. Integration with global distribution system like MNS, Galileo, etc. Integration with B2B portal like Akbar, RIA, TVO, etc. Integration with airlines like Indigo, Spicer, etc. In that case, the booking data will automatically get updated in the software. A travel agent need not to enter the data manually in order to create the bill. I hope you like this video. If you have any suggestion or query, then you can comment it down below. If you like this video, then please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified each time we upload a new video. 
please share this video with your fellow travel agents and if you want an accounting software then you can register on our portal the link is given in the description you can contact us through phone and email all the details will be given in the description we will meet in the next video thank you